favorite Disney princess is Mulan. I like Snow White and Cinderella. Rapunzel and Aurora. Probably Jasmine. Rapunzel. I like Jasmine because my favorite color is blue. She was blue. Her just story was just so hopeful and like just having a dream and following it. Because she has very long hair. I like it. I think that they're both very, um, just very cute and fun, and I think that they are just very optimistic about, um, about the position that they're in. She's, she's a fighter. I am so empowered by her strength and courage. Because she has light, a light blue, blue dress. Do you think that you look like a Disney princess? Oh, no. Well, I wear a blue dress. I don't think I look like the typical Disney princess. Nope. Disney princesses are are tiny and they're they have long hair. Very like very slim, very tall. When I was younger, it was like I have glasses, and I don't have enough glasses. It's just like totally a little kid thing. That those costumes didn't really fit my body type. It makes you feel marginalized, like your uh, like your appearance isn't portrayed to be like so great. I just don't think it's realistic. So it's not very like, it's not a very realistic body type. In the past, Disney was like, if you're a thin white girl, it's gonna be great for you. As part of our interview, we showed four young girls an image of the original Disney princesses side by side with a photoshopped version with a more realistic waist. We first asked if they could tell the difference. Um, it looks the same. Once we told them which was the original, we asked which princess they thought was prettier. The tiny one? The bigger one. The bigger one? Mm -hmm. No, I also like tiny. You like tiny? Okay. That one? Why, why so? I gotta like get their skin. Do you think that you look like a princess who has a bigger middle or a smaller middle? Bigger. You think you look like the bigger one? Yeah. So you think that looks prettier? Yeah. Because you look like that? We found that the young girls noticed the hair and dresses of the princesses, but didn't mention their physical features until we brought it up. Why then does there need to be a Disney look? My Disney college program audition. They uh, were, they straight up told us, they're like, I'm sorry if we cut you, it's just because you don't have the body type that we're looking for right now. Our original study was on the Disney princesses and body image, but everyone we talked to touched on their stories and personalities instead, and how they have evolved. They noted how Disney has moved forward and what they hope for the future princesses. Did not see that coming. The ocean is a friend of mine. Disney's branching out and uh, having like more diverse princesses. Disney has gotten more progressive and has felt like they can say more. They're in the process of adding complexity to the characters. I feel like the princesses are becoming more relatable in character. So I think about like the difference in say brave or like cinderella and just the messages they send and like the way disney chose to portray those stories i think it was the, the girl from brave was one of the first ones and she was very untraditional in her personality like she was very loud very spunky kind of goofy i think that's great where it's more of like self-love opposed to like needing to feel love for somebody else if you were given like an untraditional princess, you would focus less on her appearance and you'd focus more on the things that make up the person. When I am dressed as a princess and like the kids are looking at me like I'm the real thing, it's more like the feeling of 
wow, this magic that was just on my screen can be in real life. I like to believe because I did. And so they resonate more with the stories of the princesses. I really hope by the time I have a daughter, there's a diverse range of Disney princesses that all don't look alike. Belle's the only princess that like is celebrated for being intelligent and like I feel like with how many princesses there are there shouldn't be that and we only say she's intelligent because we see her reading books. I think just the idea of seeing princesses like going to school and like getting an education is just so important for girls right now um, and showing that is really important. Someone who's gonna have so many more obstacles. You're gonna see someone who has to deal with race or religion or their body or anything like those things. Overcoming not only that social construct, but also that of what situationally is happening around them. Choose their own fate and work hard, but still have that optimistic character that is so, I think it's like vital to like living into that. You have your set Disney princess, or maybe a Disney princess with a disability. You get a friggin' engineer princess, that'd be great. Embracing the different um, cultural and, and social aspects of our society, and um, just really embracing our differences, and having people from all different backgrounds, and different cultures. Everyone deserves to be represented in some way or another. The Disney Company has an impact on the young women in our communities. The princesses in particular have an influence with their personalities, flawless singing, and impossible, unattainable beauty. We have the power to choose what kinds of princesses we want Disney to create. Maybe one day, the Disney princesses of the future will truly show the reflection of who we all are.